That's right, Kat. I'm standing by with something really interesting in my hand. And if you have this growing in your garden, I had it growing in my garden when I lived in Johannesburg and I had no idea what to do with it. I was told it is rhubarb. And today we are going to find out how to make rhubarb crumble. Great ingredients. Prepared with love. A perfect combination like you and pick and pay. I'm joined this morning by Malika. You've joined us before uh, from the Cape Grace, the executive chef. I'm putting you to work today and uh, giving you a bit of a challenge here. What do you do with rhubarb? Hi, Liesl. Um, I chose rhubarb. So many people have got rhubarb growing in As the garden. As I said, I never knew what to do with nobody it. Nobody knows what to do with it. So I know quite a few people and it's actually in season now. So it's usually yes. available in South Africa. Um, sort of from end of September through to mm. November. But so I've read that the leaves are toxic. Uh, they are in fact, so we won't be using the leaves, we'll be using the stems. Okay. Um, what I'm doing, so I thought I'd use something rather simple. A lot of people are um, familiar with it, having it, um, it's a, it's much more British, so it's yeah. very common. Rhubarb crumble, I always remember so I thought, as a kid reading it in like the Enoch Blyton stories, they would talk about rhubarb, rhubarb crumble. crumble. Yes. <laughs> so I've chosen to do something rather decadent, so we're doing a breakfast dish. What I'm going to do is poach some rhubarb. Um, like poach you said, rhubarb. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the leaves are toxic. Leaves. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. <laughs> do I need to wash my hands after? I've... Um, yes, you should do. So what I'm going to do is poach some of the rhubarb, and then I'm also going to do um, a rhubarb compote, a rhubarb and strawberry compote. Okay. So and I'll the other ingredients try... that we need. Mm -hmm. I see you've got cranberry I've juice. I've got cranberry juice. So what we're going to do is just place those little stalks, pour over the cranberry juice. And cranberry juice is great because it's got no artificial colorants. It's one of the few juices that is just mm -hmm. plain and left the way it is. So isn't it's that ideal. just gorgeous? It's a gorgeous that really red. So that's going to be covered and then just poached in the oven at 130 degrees for about 15 minutes. And then what I'm going to do with the rest of it is make a compote. Um, and ideally serve it for a gorgeous, decadent Sunday morning breakfast. Mm. Um, the rhubarb stems actually contains loads of moisture, so you don't need any liquid. You don't need to add any liquid to it. It looks a lot like a celery, It hey? does indeed, yes. But I, I, thought, I did my research mm -hmm. about rhubarb because I, I had it growing in my garden. I never used it in Choburg. I'm a bit disappointed because you can actually regrow it. I should have brought some stems back to grow. Yeah, it's quite hey? a hardy plant. And I, I thought it was a vegetable and it's actually a fruit, but there's some debate going on about that. Uh -huh. It was considered a vegetable for a very long time mm. until it was ruled in an American court that <laughs> it should actually be a fruit and it's now officially a fruit. And in South Africa, it's a fruit? <laughs> it's a fruit. Why do we let the Americans decide what our fruits must be? They always seem to know better. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's such an interesting fact. Mm -hmm. So we're having a fruity breakfast. We are indeed. And it's a root, so I would assume that a rooty plant would be a uh, a veggie. But you learn something new every day. Absolutely, don't you just? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of caster sugar to that. No liquid at all. Why are you and adding the on... caster sugar? Is there any reason? Um, it, whenever I see strawberries, I always think caster sugar. Uh, no, it's not actually for the strawberries. These strawberries are actually gorgeous. They're really, really sweet. Mm. It's in fact for the rhubarb, which is quite tart. It's not sweet at all. Tart? Yeah, it's tart, yes. So not That's bitter a new word. and not sour. Um, tart. Tart's it's just, the word. <laughs> it's just a... I, I can't even think of another explanation. Not bitter or sour. It's not just bitter there. or sour. It's like yes, a celery. But, yeah, not all that pleasant. So mm. it needs a little bit of sugar. Can I taste it sweet. on its own? or The rhubarb? Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to love it. Rather stick to a celery stick there Is in that okay. case. So you, you've got to cook it. Okay. Okay, so what I've got in here for the crumble, which we're going to put on the top, um, equal amounts of butter, um, flour, equal amounts of butter and flour, and then mm. just a dash of sugar to sweeten it up ever so slightly. Um, so that's going to be the crumble, and we're going to add muesli to that. Like I said, it's going to... it's. It's going to be a, a breakfast. Yeah. And then we've got the recipe, which we can send to your mobile phone, 33728, with the word, it's on your screen right now, and you can get the ingredients sent to your mobile phone. What are we adding? I'm adding the muesli. Okay. And that's just How much muesli did you add? Um, you want the mixture to be quite dry and mm. crumbly, and what you're going to do is bake that in the oven yeah. after. So our magic word today is crumble, crumble, 33728, and the ingredients will be sent to your mobile phone. Mm, that looks gorgeous. I feel useless. I'm not doing anything today. I'll, I'll put you to work soon okay. enough. And don't tell me you're going to make me wash the dishes, because that's <laughs> not making me work. 
I really do that after the show. Yeah, I know. She's really great. She is. Because <laughs> we've cooked together a few times already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's pretty much the crumble. Mm. So you don't want it too sticky, you want it rather lumpy. Very nice. Rather lumpy. Yep. And that you're going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes in the oven as well. In and that you can do ahead of time and actually keep it. Yeah, how long in ahead of time? Well, you can do it if you're going to do it for breakfast. If perhaps I'm guests for breakfast or whatever, you can do it the night before. That's and easy and handy. Yeah. Okay, so that needs to get cooked in the oven. Okay, we're pretending we're putting that in the oven. We've already put one in the oven. And also remember to check out our website, expressoshow.com. All the recipes that we've uh, done and the ingredients and the step-by-step -step instructions are all there on our website. How Can far? you smell that? It smells gorgeous. I'm just going to grab the poached rhubarb out yeah. of the oven. You're cheating because that's my job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've poached the one which we put in the oven okay, earlier. You can grab the crumble which I'll we've done. the crumble. And the nice thing is if you buy all your ingredients uh, at Pick and Pay, you get your points on your Smart Shopper card. So you get some points for making breakfast. Not only do you get brownie points, points for, for the family, you get points from Pick and Pay as well. Isn't that just a bonus? So that's our poach funny. Bob, because they've, they've softened up yeah. now. Mm, and maybe so I just had it in there for no, a wee bit just, too it long. It just looks like it's come apart. A, a, a yeah, is gonna, that fine? Yeah, that's if you perfectly see it that way? fine. That's perfectly mm. fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble it and you can actually start some work now. Okay, I have we're no idea what I'm going to do. What do you mean okay. if I assemble? You're going to put some of the poached rhubarb at the bottom. Okay. Just put a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some of the poached rhubarb at the bottom. And then we're going to spoon a bit of the Smells combo. gorgeous. So once those strawberries and the rhubarb is cooked, you blend it up and that's what you get. So it's a gorgeous, beautiful red colour. Is rhubarb something you would be able to get at Pick and Pay? Um, yes, Pick and Pay does have rhubarb, obviously, when it's in season. Yeah, which is And now. you know, we're all about sustainability and now is the time to have rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I want a little bit more in this one. It looks mm -hmm. empty. Okay, so just yeah. a little bit of comfort to sweeten it up a little okay, bit. Okay, must I put it all around? Mm -hmm. Hi, 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 how are you? I'm very good, how very, are you? Very, very well, thank you. This, this looks absolutely amazing. I thought I might just come in since I was promised some chocolate yogurt uh, tart in, in the beginning of the show. It's never chocolate happened, so I thought yogurt. I might come in now. This looks For like a hell So now you come at the end when all the work's done, eh? Liesl, have you seen my, my chocolate tart? I did, I hid it in the fridge for you. And I'm really? saving some rhubarb crumble for you too. I don't know, Kia's breath still smells like chocolate yogurt tart. She's still <laughs> don't worry, I've got your back. I, I even saved some of the stuff we made last week for you. What? Last yeah. week? Yes, and there's, a whole, the there's six Tupperwares for you. What do I look like in recycling bin? <laughs> what, is, what is this? What's but going I on? thought you'd be like, oh, Liesl, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for thinking of me. <laughs> it's, it's the thought that counts, yeah. but sure. Hi, that thought is like, you know, <laughs> expiry date. <laughs> expiry date. <laughs> this looks amazing, though. Liesl, okay, so, so we've taken a vanilla pot. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the seeds out of it. And I'm just going to stir it through some plain yogurt. What you can do is spoon some of the crumble on the top of the of the compote. Now I'm just going to stir through some vanilla. Just popped into the yogurt. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Why did you do that? Just to flavour it up just a little to make bit. It, yeah. So you can take your parmalat yogurt and you can just add a little bit of vanilla. Use a plain parmalat. Yeah. So that way you get the, the health benefits. I love benefits. that oh, vanilla smell. Vanilla. Don't you just love that vanilla oh. smell? Mm -hmm. It is good. It is okay, good. Okay, and we'll just put a dollop on there. Okay. This looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have to make this on Sunday for my friends. So, must I dollop some more? You can. <laughs> must I dollop some more? <laughs> Sounds good, nice. That's nice. <laughs> I, 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 I might need to practice to be a, a sous chef at a Cape You're doing well. You're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see my washing up skills. Ooh. Sous chefs don't wash up. Oh, don't they? Absolutely. Oh, not. then I like, I want to work there. Thank you. Don't worry, and I'm, now, I'm here for the wash up purpose. It's all good. And that's really. Wow. And mm, that's it. That's it. Cat? You know if what? If I may. You, of course you may. But I, I'll, I'll let you taste as well. Okay, we'll so taste. So we can both have it. I've never had rhubarb before. I've grown it in my garden. I am... Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of rhubarb. Oh, really? No. And here we go. Uh, let's give it a try. One, mm -hmm. two, two, three. Mmm. 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 And then just look at that. Look at all the liquid on there already. Mm. And it's not even cooked. Show it to our camera because everyone at home can see it. This. Mm -hmm. Guys, you don't understand. Mm. This is really good. Sweet. Oh. Is it breakfast? Mm. This is breakfast <laughs> heaven. Is it three three breakfast? seven two Thank eight. You. The word absolute. crumble. Pleasure. Thank you so much. You've taught us something new. So I hope you're going to use Here. your rhubarb. I'm in going the to use now. my rhubarb. <laughs> I'll catch you after the break. Stay with Expresso and SABC three.